Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I am going to run through kind of a full day in the life today. Um, kind of a full day of eating. I'm trained today as well. Um, so basically, something a bit different to, to just training. And obviously to take you guys through kind of what my food is like at the moment as well. Um, in and off season setting, like I said. So, um, first up we have, I'm only up kind of half an hour or so. I've had my Hydromax to kind of hydrate water. Um, done a couple of bits. Now I'm going to have my morning supplements and then I will have my first meal. My first meal today is 200 grams of chicken, 150 grams of dry weight rice. Um, so that goes down first. Um, usually my my second meal will be first, but I've changed that around just for convenience at the moment. I'll go through the second meal um, in a while. So I will have this first and um, then I will go on my morning walk. I've no direct cardio at the moment. So we will go on a walk just to get some steps in. And then I actually have the chiropractor this morning as well. So I'll take you along there as well. And um, when I get back for meal too. But I uh, just follow along. Um, my life is pretty boring. Today will be pretty boring, but at least you get an insight into kind of what I do. Um, training wise, coaching wise, field wise, etc. And we will go from there. But um, yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Two hours later. Right. Only took 25 minutes. So that's the first meal down. Um, as you can see, it wasn't that easy to get down. Um, at the moment, appetite is touch and go. Sometimes I wake up and I'm actually pretty hungry for everything. And um, sometimes I wake up and I just do not want to get meals down. Um, I much much prefer dieting than actually um in off season. So. I'm actually really, really looking forward to the next time I prep because I actually really enjoy being hungry. Um, but it is what it is, it has to be done. Um, and look, a lot of people in this world actually don't have the luxury of eating when they want and what they want, so we cannot complain about stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's the first meal down. Go on a walk now in a minute, get some steps in, head up to the chiropractor, and then go from there. Going to the chiropractor. Um, something that I needed done for a long time uh, because I was very misaligned um, everywhere in my body. So since I came over here, I have really kind of invested in myself when it comes to physically, um, business wise, education wise as well. Um, you know, and just kind of start doing things that I was putting off that I wanted to invest in. Um, so yeah, chiropractor today, and it really, really has had a huge impact on how I felt over the last couple of weeks as well. So I'm looking forward to continuing this. I have a scan today to actually see how things have improved over the last few weeks or so from getting uh, regular treatments. So we will actually see the improvements today um, and then get some more work done. But um, like I said in the last video as well, I think it's really helping um, recovery wise, etc. too. So it's something that I'm definitely, definitely going to be staying on top of. There's a lot more sensory input from that foot and ankle than there is from the hamstring. So from that posterior chain, it bombards the brain and shuts other things down. And that's why trying to like trying not reset but desensitize that area by putting movement through it, we start seeing stability go through the rest of the spine. So how was that mark? Really good. I always feel good after that. I've pulled today as well, so I should feel pretty good going into it. Now what time is it? 20 past 9. Go home and get uh, try to get a second meal in. This is off. Two pounds and nine then please mate. Cooking. I have 150 grams of cream of rice, um, 40, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
40 grams of whey, 100 grams of berries. So um, there's a cream of rice. I mix the whey in and out, and I put the berries in, and then we'll show you what it looks like. Well, I like the smell. Turn to my stomach. <laughs> it honestly smells, it smells like cowpaw. <laughs> These are uh, the berries I use, always frozen. You see, if you buy fresh, you literally have to buy them every couple of days because they just go off. So if you get frozen, the frozen ones melt in the hot cream of rice and then they last longer as well. So, and it's cheaper. So, we have um, low sodium salt for potassium and then obviously pink Himalayan as well. So. Thank you. As you can see, uh, I like my salt. <laughs> Doing some client work at the moment and um, Today is Friday, so I actually have no um, direct check-ins on Friday, but what I do is I've literally been, where's my client phone? I've literally been replying to um, client messages because messages still come through um, regardless of if it's check-in or not. Um, client, um, sorry, form clips as well from training to um, give feedback on. So that's kind of what I've been doing um, for the past hour or so. Also, Fridays are my days to respond to any new inquiries, etc. So I've been doing that. Um, and now I'm just about to set up a couple of new starter plants um, and then we will have pre-workout meal once I'm finished that and then go train but literally if it was check-in day and um, things are a lot more hectic in the mornings but today like I said just responding to messages inquiries and now we are cracking on and um, we have two starter plants to do before we go train um, and then we will go from there but that's all kind of you know Fridays really entail and then when I go back from training as well I'll obviously have more messages and stuff coming through which I will go through then um, but yeah that's what we're doing at the moment I'm going to touch on each one of these in a bit of detail um, kind of a couple of things under each heading that I want to touch on so in here you will see I literally have included um, the majority of things that you did say you enjoyed I'm happy I went let me know what you think like I said enjoy the rest of your day and I will look forward to hearing back from you That's, um, that's one um, starter plant sent out to a new client. So um, I will send him over now the introduction video. Um, I will send him over his plans um, and then he will be able to take a look at them and then come back to me with any questions he has. But um, this guy's a lot of potential so I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what we can, what we can do together. Not long enough, fucking hell. That's the thing with with Fridays, I have a bit more time to spare, so we can uh, we can fit a pre -work, pre workout nap in. Okay, so pre workout meal. Um, what's it? Oh yeah, hundred twenty grams of cream rice. Um. 50 grams of whey, um, 20 grams of raisins, and 10 grams of 90% dark chocolate. I had 100 grams of banana as well, that's already gone. But um, yeah, something very, very light on the stomach. I kind of, an hour before before I train, and it goes down very easy. So when I go to train, my stomach um, doesn't feel like anything. It's just sitting there and heavy, um, and then I'm ready to go. But um, yeah, this is usually a nice meal when the whey is a different flavor. But um, yeah, I have this, then I will get post-workout made, I will get my intro workout done up as well, and I will show you what they are, but um, yeah, cream of rice, whey, raisins, deck chopper. Oh. Thank you. That's actually pretty, pretty good timing. 
Look at it. That's the way that I use the white chocolate coconut. That's the good one. Um, cook coming. What else do we order? This could be like this actually could be a different oh, this is Kate's somewhere. Okay, so making intro workout now. So intro workout is going to be um, 100 grams of performance fuel, which is basically um, cyclic dextrin, which is basically a simple um, carb source. Then we're going to have um, seven grams of creatine in that. We're gonna have 20 grams of EAAs, and we are going to have um, 15 grams of EAA, or sorry, glutamine with that as well. And then alongside that, we are going to have 400 ml of coconut water. So alone, like 100 grams of carbs um, in this in, in this meal, and um, it's going to be during training. It's again, it's an easier way to get calories in as well when you are trying to get food food down, um, because it doesn't sit in your stomach at all. It, you know, it goes down very very easily as well. Um, I'm actually going to release an ebook. Um, over the next kind of week or so, um, which is going to be for free, which is just basically based on peri workout attrition, which will be kind of intra workout, post workout, pre workout, um, kind of what we, we, we would look to include in each meal and kind of why it is um, very important. So I'll have that out over the next um, kind of week, and like I said, it will be absolutely free as well. So I think it will be um, very beneficial and very useful to some people. So we're just going to Finish mixing this. I've actually lost where the fuck I am. Now 20 more grams. Actually, like, um, I finish this. Go get a coffee. Go to Starbucks or Costa, and then we will head down to the gym. Um, we have pulled today, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's our first day, kind of back full volume training after kind of a little bit of a rest. So it should be very exciting, and um, I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, this is just done, and I will catch you in a bit. Can I get um, a medium Americano, please, as well? Any milk in there? No, thank you. Any sugar? Uh, no. Any of the food I'll bring today? No, thank you. Alright, uh, I'll stand down with you, Eddie. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Welcome to Rotterdam. <laughs> okay. Don't even ask, man. Also drop the volume as well. Yeah. Because yeah. it'd be a disaster. Yeah. So uh, Condition-wise, you're fucking there. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it's a fucking day yeah. to It's just a fucking. It's a tall sign to fail. Okay, so I'm about to get cracking now. Like I touched on um, earlier on, um, we're kind of just out of a deal. It's kind of a run of sessions where we actually reduce the volume, so the volume sessions. So we literally ran with a 40% uh, reduction of workload across each session. So um, many are just doing kind of one walk and set on most things. And the reason being is because we felt like we were getting to a point where we've pushed hard for the last six, eight weeks and fatigue was starting to creep up, our body was starting to get so tired. And we knew if we pushed for an extra week or two, we would need a full deload where we'd actually have to take time off the gym um, and take like four days off completely. So we said if we just pulled things back initially, that would kind of allow fatigue to kind of drop off and allow us to push forward without having to take any time off. And what's actually happened is performance has actually jumped forward. Our strength in them sessions has rose and um, I feel fuller, I feel fresher. My body's utilizing carbs a lot better as well because I, my body's a lot less stressed and I'm actually up like three, ki three kilo in the space of like two weeks. So um, again, if I was coaching myself, you know, we always want to push, push, push. 
but sometimes we need someone else to just tell us to pull back a little bit and that's exactly what we've done and it has really paid off so today is the full session back in at full volume so let's see how it goes um, feeling good mentally and physically so um, let's do it today um, five kilo up on the last session and the same amount of reps as well so um, that's 185 I think my first session on this was 170 for like seven or something that was 185 for eight so um, we're progressing very nicely at the moment Better. 
Yeah. Thank you. Oh, so this is actually the same session I ran last full day. So again, um, everything has been kind of pretty much progressed since then. Um, over back kind of portion of the session is done now. So we have uh, our straight leg deadlift, our uh, dumbbell retractions, our upper back prime row, and then we are moving on to single arm um, prime lat row. So um, again, the same session I'm running through as the last time, um, but we are taking progressions here today. Um, the same on every session so far, really. So um, yeah, it's gone smoothly. Gotta go. session we had um, we had neutral pull-ups so we were doing them with a band um, basically we changed over to assisted and um, neutral grip pull-ups here we just felt like we were a lot more stable we could walk through and could track our lats a lot more efficiently than we could on the with the bands I think the band kind of dragged us back and forth a little bit but I think with this we're locked in the position and we can really think about just driving the elbows and really kind of contract the lats at the top so and um, again it just it connects a lot better so what's the point of running with a movement that you don't connect with when there's another movement that you know it is the same kind of movement pattern but it connects a lot better so again working muscles not movements
we're going up, you've seen it before, squares bar and then 150 grams of rice flakes, 60 grams of that way again, and 100 grams of um, frozen rice. So we've seen it before, but that is meal number four. Uh, meal number five that actually includes the intro workout because that is a fucking meal in itself. So uh, yeah, we'll get this down and then I'll go home and I will show you the last three meals as well. Um, and then we'll add up the calories as well and see kind of what I actually have to because I'm actually not exactly sure at the moment. So. Yeah, we're going to the gym. I'm just um, making my last, my next three meals. So um, I'm gonna make them, and I'll actually just show you them, show you what they are, um, and I will let Ed shoot off how many. Is that the tin foil also? Because you don't want to use a chopping board to save washing up. It's it's just common sense. <laughs> why would they go, why would they go and play the cup? Look, I can do this. This is what I do sometimes. So. <laughs> put it on the lid, okay, and then you put it. That's actually really hard. Like this is like, this is not gonna be nice. But um, <laughs> yeah, this is this is a good what you do. You're you a see, pioneer, Mark. Yeah. You see, when you when you move out of home, you don't have the luxury of um, I don't know, I'm doing things for you. So <laughs> just gonna be watching this, saying yeah, I know. But so you just have to be smart and have less work for yourself. This is basically what I use on all my meals. So, right, so, sauce was, we always go with French's mustard or ketchup, okay? So that's the first thing. But obviously, as I showed you earlier, my pink salt, my, uh, fucking hell, my uh, low sodium, um, low sodium salt. And then this is, is the king. This is what I use on all my meat meals game changer you get it anywhere I get it in Tesco Aldi anywhere really it's fucking unreal so um the next two meals are there they are there basically 150 grams of rice 200 grams of chicken 150 grams of rice 200 grams of 100% beef mince they are my next two um I will put calories to all this in the video um, and I will let you know kind of how much I'm taking. I'll actually like, I'll finish adding that up now and I'll let you know in the next clip. But um, this is kind of the next two meals. Um, I literally got back from training there, sat down, kind of responded to any more client messages that were coming through today. So I'm going to eat the next meal. Um, I'm going to send out one more client plan. Then I am going to switch off for the night, have my second last meal, um, and then have my last meal. But um, yeah, I'm going to. I'll just get my last meal ready now and show you as well, so bear with me, I'm gonna sort these out and then I will show you that. Okay. okay, so my shopping actually isn't here yet, so my last meal is meant to be this, I only have a little bit left in that. So I have 250 grams of the Fage Foyer yogurt, um, this is only a tiny bit left in that as well. I have 150 grams of that and then I have 40 grams of this. I actually have the nicer flavour now, so I certainly will not fucking be using this flavour. I have the coconut there, so um, I'll be using the coconut. So that's the last meal I'm going to be having. Um, one thing I start doing is ordering my shopping to the house. Who would have thought you could do that? Unreal, don't have to go shopping. I order it, it comes directly here, so it's coming between like nine and 10. So uh, it's, it's a game changer, it's unreal. I'm lazy and I do not care. I spend my time doing, doing other things. So I um, have them two meals and then that is gonna be my last one. Unfortunately, I will not be able to make it for you because I don't have the yogurt yet and Ed's gonna go home. So that's the last one. Calories work out in the rounds. I'll put the exact amount on the screen, but today it's around 6,100 or so um, in the round. That, um, a lot of food, um, a lot of carbs. Um, rest days are slightly lower. Leg days are even higher than that as well. So leg days will be around kind of 6566. Six, six. um, it's, it's the realities of actually trying to gain, you know, I'm tall, I'm heavy, so I need a lot of food to to grow and it's not always nice, but it's what needs to be done. Like I said, I would happily diet all day and um, I love dieting, I love being hungry 
absolutely love it. I do not like being full all the time, but it is what it is. You, it, it needs to be done sometimes when you do want to, you know, get to where you want to be growing wise. So that is kind of a full day of eating wrapped up. Um, kind of what I got up to on a day where I've no check-ins. Like I said, chiropractor this morning, basically just clients work, new plans, inquiries, train. Um, and now I will get back to a few more messages before I switch off and have that meal. Um, but yeah. Okay, so that is everything wrapped up. Um, something a little bit different to what I do here, which is basically just training videos. So, I'm feeling somewhat interesting. Um, I'm going to have a shower, I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to wait for my delivery to come. Um, and then I'll get to bed, I'll have a coaching session tomorrow, so I'll get a good sleep in, and then I'll go on as usual. But um, yeah, thank you very much. Um, this will be able to see and I'll have another one two weeks after that, or a week long later. So, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. I think that's what everyone's meant to say after a video, isn't it? But, and um, thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.